Alright, hello everybody, I am Godric Falcar, and welcome to Limbo. We recently played a game on my channel, and some of you may have seen it. If you hadn't, there's a link somewhere on this page. You can go watch it if you want, but you're in this series right now, so you can watch it later when you have enough time, so don't worry about that. But, this is Limbo by Playdead, uh, who recently made a new game called Inside, which I completed on my channel. But, I said if I liked that game enough, we'd come back and try out their older game, which is this. It's called Limbo. And, uh, let's see, what's this over here? Some kind of spot of light, and we step on it. You actually get an achievement for that. I actually got that on accident a second ago when I started up the game for the first time. But, that's as far as I've gotten in this game, and so this is completely blind. It's just you and I and Limbo. So, I don't really know at all what this game is about. Um, I assume it's a lot like Inside, where it's mysterious and dark and puzzly and I've got no clue what's going on. But, my first sense is we might be in Limbo, which is like, um, I don't remember if it's more of a religious thing or what, but Limbo apparently is the area um, that a lost soul goes to basically when they're not going to heaven or hell and they just died basically they're stuck in limbo like they they have something back on earth that they need to do before their spirit is released to wherever they need to go so i think that's where we're at um this is really cool it's kind of like a shadow puppety feel to it and i'm just playing with the grass here because the graph grass graphics are pretty cool they actually move as you move I think these are spikes, so we're going to attempt to jump them. Okay. I actually like the jump mechanics, because I hit the ground and I hopped a little bit. So the physics are really good in this game so far. What do we got? All right. Okay, so it's the exact same controls as inside. You can jump, you can climb, you can grab things, you can interact with stuff. That's good. That's interesting. Okay. So we're going down the rope. So everything's a bit fuzzy, a little static in the background. It sounds like shores kind of thing. Um, and I think Limbo's were supposed to be like, Limbo is the shore of hell or heaven or something like that. I'm not, I don't particularly remember. But I do know there's something to that. Now I think if I fall in there I die, but let's find out. Okay, we can't swim. Character can't swim, good to know. Good to know easy to catch up on and I'm gonna try to go through this game relatively quick because I think it's actually a pretty short game but it should be good looking forward to it can I jump from here is there a, is there a height limit okay so that's that's good that's good to know that there's a little bit of a distance I'm gonna start hopping because I think that's actually faster Ooh, we broke a little boat off sailing through this looks like a cave everything looks kind of dark and dank and like a cave or whatever but uh, some frogs in the background just take some time to listen I guess if we really want to let's pull the boat up here so we can get enough height to get up there but it's good in these kind of games you, even if you're doing a let's play on them like I am currently and you are currently watching just to take some time to appreciate And I guess we are in an open forest, so there's kind of sun, but it's reflecting in that black and white way that it does. So that looks like spikes. That looks like a trap. Wow. Pretty brutal. Um, okay. So, I guess like inside, they, they do a good job of killing you relatively easily. So I guess, yeah, you could pull those apart and then get enough distance to get across. All right, makes sense. Some, like, fireflies. That looks like a chunk of dead meat. I don't know if I like that. I'm feeling like if I fall down, I'm dead. No, that's not the case. Okay. 
So, what is this supposed to do? Am I supposed to drop the trap? Okay, well, I didn't jump far enough. But I think I'm supposed to drop the trap, or drop the meat into the trap, and maybe that does something? I don't know, we'll find out. Let's see what this does. Okay, good, it gets rid of the meat, so then we can move on. Neat. I haven't seen any other secrets so far. I'm hoping I'm not missing anything. And I think I read in the description for this book that this little boy was actually looking for a sister. Not particularly sure why, um, or why she would be in limbo. Maybe she died and he, he has to go find her, her lost soul or something. Whew. Yeah, these games are definitely not known uh, to be very fair. They, they certainly like to kill you relatively quickly and efficiently. They're very efficient about killing you. But once again, the, compared to inside and things like that, the foreground, background, middle ground is just incredible. Like you can see the tree in the background, the branches in the foreground, and us in the midground. And the midground looks great. Well, you can kind of make out different features in the foreground and the background, which is super cool. Gives it real depth, which just it honestly doesn't happen enough. I wish I could grab that vine. Maybe I push it off? Can I get up on that tree somehow? I don't know. Oh, with this box. I could totally grab that vine with this box. So I'm thinking the puzzles in this game are going to be a little easier to understand than the ones in Inside. Though those were still not, not too bad. They were pretty simplistic. But I appreciate Play Dead for these games because they, they really show you that you can think a little more than a little more than most games do these days. A lot of games are just kind of mindless and I appreciate a game where you have to think for once. Push that off of there. Maybe that's a boat later on, I don't know. Oh, I found a secret, I think. Let me go up a little higher on this. Oh, secret. Altitude is attitude. Nice. So this game, like the previous game, has, um, well, I guess this is the prequel to that game, but just like inside, it looks like there are 13 achievements, and they're all most likely uh, mysterious things that you can find. Okay, so fall damage isn't as extreme in this game, I guess. I take the box with me just in case. You never know when you, you need a box. I don't know if you need the box at all. Let's find out. Maybe you need to jump on the box. Get over to here. Jump across. Alright, cool. Made a boat. The noises are getting a little creepy. I think in this game there's actually bosses, I want to say. Um, the previous, or the inside that we played, does not really have any bosses in it. It was just a series of different puzzles. I think in this, we actually fight things. Okay, well that looks like something. And that was supposed to kill me if I got too close, for sure. Can I run by it? I don't really trust that I can. Nope, doesn't seem like that's the case. And I'm very much dead now. Okay. So I think that activates it. Can I climb it? Or should I just go back? Okay, how can I get up there? Did we need that box? Did we need to bring it with us? No, it's way over there. I can't even reach it anymore. Okay. So I guess that's not it. How do you defeat a giant spider? It feels a little bit like Harry Potter right now. So I fought the giant spider in the woods.
Okay, did that? Okay, there was clinking metal. I got it. All right, so you gotta get him to hit the ground so it shakes everything. And then that pushes it off the branch. Excellent, good to know. Ah, so close. Almost had it. So we have to go over here. Bam! Suck it. One down. Got it. Whoa, that was a close one. It's all your legs. Well, you have eight, I guess, but. All right, three legs down. Trap is broken. We can move on. So I guess that's our arch nemesis in this world. Something like that. I'm sure we'll be seeing the giant spider again. Let's start jumping. I think jumping is actually a quicker way of movement. So we'll speed run strat this. Or we can just slowly walk. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, jiggle. I have to keep jiggling. I think they caught me. I'm jumping. I'm jumping as fast as I can. Am I dead? I feel like I'm dead. Oh no, I'm being cocooned. Can I jiggle out? Hold on, let's wait for the spider to leave before I attempt to jiggle out. Alright, now we wiggle. We shake, and we jiggle, and we shake. That's how we do that. And web doesn't actually stick to itself. Spider's webs don't actually stick to themselves or the spiders. That's how spiders can actually use them. Ooh, look at us speed strat hopping in our in our ghillie suit of spider web. Alright, we'll have to jump. There we go. Well, aren't we just cute? We're what you would call a Kakuna in the Pokemon world. Ooh, I tried to jump. It didn't work too well. Alright, we'll try again. Try again. Round two. Fight. Got it. Alright, I got it that time. Push this boulder. And our still completely blind state. No! Oh, I knew it was coming. Oh, I was too slow. Alright, try again. Three is the luckiest number. Alright. Third time is a charm. Now hop back. Hop! This is a pretty cool mechanic. Now, we, we can't see and we're absolutely covered in spiderweb, but still pretty neat. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm super dead. Okay, let's try one more time. Try that one more time. So we have to... move back as it rolls here. The jumping's actually really smooth in this game. It's It's convenient. Can I speed up the boulder? I don't think I can. Uh-oh. Come on, boulder. Come on, boulder. We could do it. I think I'm going to have to jump for it here in a second. But my jumping is not very far, so I'm going to have to wing it. All right, go. That was way too soon. I, I, I screwed up. Okay, we'll give it one more shot. Like I said, this is pretty cool. Um, I may put a little music in the background, and if, if you've heard the music the whole playthrough, then you know it exists. But it's just kind of quiet. There's a lot of good atmosphere, which I'm going to include definitely, but maybe some light music in the background would, uh, would definitely improve this game a little bit. But they wanted you to pay attention, which is good. A game that actually wants you to play their game. Go figure, right?
And we made it out. Out of our webbed trap. Wake up. Wake up, buddy. Wake up. Why don't you put on a little makeup? You know you wanted to. I <laughs> have like a little ponytail. It's a little bit of web still stuck to the back of my head there. Who's this? A trap! It's a trap! Fake person. So I guess we are looking for somebody. Alright, but I think that is where we're going to end to uh, in this episode for now. Um, these episodes are going to be a little shorter, and I think episodes from now on will be, because it makes it easier for all of you to watch, it makes it easier for me to record, and it's fun. It, uh, if, if I get myself a time limit, maybe I'll actually make progress, which, as you know, if you've seen most of my playthroughs, progress does happen. It's just a little, it's a little slow. It's a little slow. But thank you all for joining me. Uh, check back next time for another episode. We're going to keep playing this game all the way through. Um, I'm hoping to get all the achievements, and if I don't, maybe uh, maybe I'll make a little thing at the end, as always, finding all the achievements for you perfectionists out there, uh, just like myself, that like to have some closure and fully finish a game. But thank you for joining me. But bye-bye for now. Bye. 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 See you next time. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment how you feel about this and a like on this video if you want. But see you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.